If you guys want to see what a restroom looks like here, it's this one. That one's broken, but this one, you come up here and then you take a poop here. So yeah, all of the all of the waste goes directly into the ocean, and it's not even that far. So it just comes back to the beach. So that's why, as well, I like to swim in these beaches. Let's check it out. It's right there. You poop, and then the water is coming this way. And it just gets on the beach. In a, oh well, look at the trash here. How much trash gets thrown over here? That's from all the islands. Uh, so whenever there's islands that have a lot of people. It's dirty, it's so dirty. But then when you go, when you pay to the to go the, to the islands of San Blas, you go to the to the ones that they're not overpopulated, so they're clean. The ones that are private and there's no one living there. But if you go to the ones where there's uh, where there's a population living there, it's really dirty. So the captain of the boat left us almost there. He left Hola. us one island before the border. Uh, the guy who arranged the trip told me from the beginning that that might, but not that early on. You know. He told me it would happen like at the border, that they would just leave us there. So now we gotta stay in this island right here with the locals, five dollars and five dollars for food. We're staying at you guys. It's uh, five dollars for the rooms, which are not bad because that other place I was staying at, they were five dollars, but it was shittier. This one's definitely nicer than the other one. And like I said before, they dropped us off here. They weren't supposed to, but it's not bad. Just for one day, everything's still cheaper than I thought. I think right now. But I've wasted around eighty dollars, and like I said, the sailboat was five hundred and fifty, so still pretty good. I think it's gonna be like one sixty at the end, one hundred and sixty dollars for the whole thing, which is still way lower than the sailboat. Oh yeah, and by the way, if you guys didn't know this, they don't let you take pictures here in the islands or any of the Kunayala, because it's like a reservation and. The indigenous people here just don't like to get their pictures taken unless you pay them. So they usually ask for a dollar or two dollars. So guys, as you guys can see, I'm here just relaxing. There's not much to do on the island. We just had dinner and that's it. There's not even a beach here where you can go and chill. It's just like an island with no beach. I'm hanging out here with Anna Lee. I met her on the boat, on the speedboat here. Char Actually, they're more like water taxis. They just go to all the islands and drop you off. But just to recap so far, uh, from Panama City, I took the ferry to Carti. And then from there, I took a boat to an island. I don't know the name of the island, but it doesn't matter. Uh, then from that island I took a boat that was supposed to take us to Colombia, to the border. So the, the border is in the in Panama, it's Puerto Valdez, and then in Colombia it's... Um, Capurgana. Capurgana, yeah. So they were supposed to drop us off there, but they didn't do that. They dropped us off an island before you get there, so we're still in Panama. And then tomorrow we gotta take a boat. Oh, that's the other thing we did today. We took a... we reserved a boat which is gonna take us from here to Puerto Valdez. And the reason I told you guys that that island doesn't matter, the first island I was, was because mainly all you wanna do is get from Panama City to anywhere close to Carti, 
it's so like uh, El Porvenir or Carti or any of the islands around there because there's just boats that go all the way there's always boats going coming and going so you will find a boat and even if you're not in the right island island they communicate with cell phones there so they will tell you where to go to catch the next boat so just get there <laughs>